Mellow Ball, man. Um, the Mellow Ball, man. The Ball, the Ball Boys, man. What are you doing out here? Uh, so I had recently seen, man. Um, he had basically was backing out, or you know, basically you know leaving the park a lot of the Spectrum Center. Uh, that's in Charlotte, man, with the Hornets play. And I guess, man, he ended up like running over a kid's foot or something like that, man. God damn, um, Mellow, what, what the hell you doing out there? Man, it's like. Yeah, I, we know I know it was an accident, but from the lady saying, she said the nigga didn't stop. You know what I heard she said is he cheated. Uh, I guess the kid wanted an autograph. He didn't give him an autograph or something like that, and he skirted off and did it by mistake. I was just like, dude, man, yeah, like he just pulled out. He ain't stopping nothing. He just yeah, I'm out. like, nigga, just sign it. And the funny thing about it is, I I be seeing like on Facebook and stuff, uh, Instagram. He be you know he got the whip game strong. So he, I be seeing him pulling out though. They had a clip of him like thirty seconds of him pulling out in this luxury car. He pull out into the streets. Yeah. He always just skirt out like going like sixty coming out. I be like, damn, bro, you gonna really hit? You gonna mess somebody up, bro? I mean, you gotta remember, bro. This dude is young, bro. Um, one of the top, you know, paid uh, rookie athletes or not rookie, but you know, young athletes in the damn league. You know what I'm saying? So. I mean, he living his life, but he definitely got to make, you know, we know what, think about LaMelo, we know what background he come from. Yeah. So we know that his daddy don't play that. We know his mother don't play that, man. He comes from a strong family. Yeah. So it's like, yo, um, and I, I just make you think, though, they always say, bro, I'm just to be honest with you, they always say, if you, like, uh, you know, shield your kid, or what is it called, shelter your kids away from, from you know, the real world, yeah. You keep them in the house and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't let them do a lot of shit. You know, you know, you just you just basically like just keep them stuck in their books or stuck in their whatever you want them to do. Yeah. It's like they when they when they get to the age, they gon' overdo it. When overdo they get it. free. And that's and that's kind of like his situation too. Like even with the tattoos, his dad always was like, yo, don't get it. He was telling them, don't get no tattoos, don't get no stay tattoos. clean. They went overboard. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, overboard. Overboard. Like, overboard, like, like that's exact that's exactly what I'm saying. Like that's overboard. Like, your dad is telling you don't get no tattoos. And like I said, I ain't knocking LaMelo for that because I'm like, I felt LaVar. And I, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's a, he's a, LaVar could be my father. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, like, I'm just telling him, like, that was the, I, mean, I can't tell nobody had a parent, yeah, obviously, but that was, I feel like in my parent, I definitely not going to do that. Yeah. I'm not going to tell my kids, like, oh, you can't do this and that. I don't want you this yeah, and that you, because it's like, they going to try to go against. Yeah, it's going to intense them to do that shit. The more and more you tell a kid to not do some shit is the shit. You can tell a nigga, hey, man, don't smoke. Don't smoke weed. Don't smoke weed. Don't smoke weed. First thing a nigga do when he get that little he piece of the blood. Try. Man, let me get that motherfucking let shit. Let me see what yeah. he been telling me. Don't try for him. Why he don't want me to do this? That's the question. Exactly, man. But with that tattoo shit, though, that's wild. They went crazy on the tattoo. I think Melo probably the most tatted one, bro. And they just, no, I think it's the middle one. He got his whole body done. I can't tell you, bro, because I just seen, like I said, all of them tatted more than me. Yeah. <laughs> and and then you know, he got one tattoo. He got a cover. I think they 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 going to stop because he got a logo on his neck. And he had to cover that shit up because right. it's a, uh, for marketing. And he had to cover it up. So he had to, what, he, what logo he get? He got his logo, but the thing is his logo is kind of similar to on like the, the NBA. Yeah. Uh -huh. So they were just like, you got to cover that shit up, bro. You doing too much. <laughs> like, but the tattoo he got on the back with the like they say rare or something like that. Yeah. You know, on the back. Anytime I tell people, man, anytime you gotta get anesthesia, you gotta get you know what I'm saying numbed up and all that shit, bro. That's crazy. And no reason for me. I mean, for me, there's no reason for me to even go all the way through. Yeah, that's, I don't want to be put under. Like you finna get surgery to get a tattoo. That that's crazy to me. And and I know that I know niggas want to cheat cut they shit, but nigga, if you ain't ready to get to work, just don't get it, nigga. I ain't rocking with it, man. Like I said, I'm old school with the tattoos, man. If I can't lay down and just get it, like I said, tattoos for me is uh, you know, therapeutic. So I I I, I like hearing the little eh, I like hearing the you know, getting the little you know what I'm saying? For sure. I, that little pain or whatever that you go through during that time, man. Like I said, it's therapeutic for me. So for you to, you know, numb my shit up and all that, I've been numbed up before. So I don't like being numbed up when like when you when you numb something up, man, you can't feel that motherfucker for a little bit. So I don't even want to be like I didn't got all this work done, but in all actuality, I can't even feel this shit. I might be just rubbing my shit, or I might be moving. Mm. And, and then when you doing this, mostly it's done by a doctor. I don't know what I'm. I'm, I'm into letting tattoo nah, artists do done. it. I'm, I'm gonna say okay. I'm gonna nigga, it. Did nigga ain't no doctor. You know what I'm saying I thought you said it's mostly done, but no, it ain't done by a doctor. Like, no, nah, this like, done by a nigga tattoo, and he ain't get the nigga can't do CPR. How the hell I'm gonna expect him to put me under and bring me back, nigga? What if he bring me back early, nigga? Like, oh hell no, nah, you fucked up, bro. 
Hey, man, this is a wild one, man. But, hey, LaMelo, man, um, Delphi, man, slow down, man. Like, you know, yeah, man. Slow down in the car and slow down in life, bro. <laughs> you know, drive slow. Slow everything man. down, nigga. Yeah. We must pay homage to him. Yeah.